If you want to look like a skater, well, just skates. But here are three outfits I personally skate in. I've been doing this since I was 10 years old with a 10 year gap because of adulting. But I recently picked it back up because of the Rona. That is the one good thing that happened last year. And you can also find an old street part of me on YouTube from when I was 12 years old. I used to shred. First fit can also be a workwear related type of fit. The reason why Dickies and Carhartts are popular with skate culture is because those are made for working conditions. While skating isn't manual labor, it is an activity that requires you to fall, scrape, and bail. So you're gonna want something durable. Let's start off with the kicks, the most important piece to a skater. This is the Nike SB Blazer Mid Edge, and this is just a sexy sneaker. I really like that the swoosh looks like it was torn out and placed on the toe box. I'm sure that's what they were going for, and that adds even more durability, and I like that. There's a double tongue with exposed foam and different panels and patches of materials and colors. I recommend this sneaker even if you don't skate. I'm not really sure how I feel about these sneakers yet as I've only had a few sessions with them, but I like them so far. Moving up is the Nike SB Flex Cargo Pants. I really dig these because of how comfortable they are and just how it looks. Siwa wears these all the time and it looks dope. They're durable and breathable. Definitely something I'd recommend to your normal fits as well. For my tops, I'm rocking the Oversized Essentials tee. They really nailed the fit on the shirt. I wear a size large by the way. And brown and black are always a great combination to an outfit. Just like my work jacket that I got here from Uniqlo back in 2019 and this is 20 bucks. Obviously, I'd recommend going secondhand for a work jacket, you know, somewhere on Grailed or the thrift store. There's some pretty good deals out there. But this work jacket is just here for the warm up. It's cold as hell out here, but once I get warmed up, all you really need is a long sleeve, to be honest. Topped it off with an olive beanie, and overall, the fit is simple. I just really wanted to focus on the muted colors of the fits. Now, the reason why your skate fashion matters is because if you look good, you're gonna feel good, and that means you're gonna have a better sesh. If you have a better sesh, you're probably gonna land some tricks better, and you're gonna have a lot more fun. So I would always recommend these fits over a gray sweats and a hoodie not that there's anything wrong with that if you like that that's cool all that matters is that you feel good me personally i like wearing these fits and another way to look good and feel good is having a good skincare routine i like using curology they are sponsoring this video so let me take a minute to thank them for supporting the channel all right guys so today's video is sponsored by curology i'm sure you guys have heard of them before but if you haven't curology is a subscription-based skincare brand so what that means is you're gonna get all the things that you need to take care of your skin on a consistent basis you never have to worry about running out or having to reorder anything or taking an unnecessary trip to the store. Anyways, I've been using Curology for over a year now and honestly, I really do enjoy using their system. Because here's what's so awesome about Curology and what makes them different. So in your box that you get, you're gonna get a cleanser which does exactly what it says, it cleanses your face. Then you're gonna get a moisturizer which is actually very refreshing to put on. It moisturizes your skin. And the best parts, you're gonna get your own specific night cream that's curated just for you and your specific skin. And that's always refreshing to hear because all my friends that I put on Curology, they have their own specific night cream. It has your own name on it and the specific percentages of ingredients to tackle your skin problems. And my girl, who's a nurse, she actually knows all the ingredients used in my specific night cream. At the time you sign up for Curology, they're gonna ask you a bunch of questions and it's not a bad thing. You want them to know your skin situation. Like what type of skin do you have? Is it oily or is it dry? What problems you're facing and what you're looking for for your future skin? Because that's going to help your dermatologist provider get to know your skin. That way they can send over the perfect night cream to take care of it. Like for me, I've always suffered from really dry skin and hyperpigmentation, so I have lighter and darker patches on my skin, and I've definitely seen an improvement, and now I'm going to update my dermatology provider so I can focus on having more younger skin because I'm getting old. Which is what I really dig about them. You can always update your dermatology provider on your progress. If you're having issues or if you're seeing such great improvements that you want to focus on something else, you can get your night cream adjusted. And once you create your Accounts, you're going to have a whole page of information about your specific skin and recommended routine. It's very streamlined and you can't really mess it up. And I'm sure you think it sounds expensive, but you can get your own free trial kit that comes with a cleanser, a moisturizer, and your specific night cream for guess what? Five bucks. Five bucks for shipping and handling. I think it's a good deal. Why not give it a shot? Do us both a favor, click the link in the description and check out Curology. As always, thank you guys in advance and thank you Curology for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the skate fits. This next fit is probably my most worn because it's just the easiest color combo that you can rock. I've already made a whole entire video on this color combination. I'll leave a link in the description below. But I am telling you, olive pants, black top, cream or white sneakers, and an orange beanie is always the move. Now in my case, there's always some sort of variation to it, but the basic structure is there and you should give it a shot. So in this particular fit, I wore the skating at nighttime in Brooklyn, but I can't film it for you now. It is literally snowing outside, so you're stuck indoors with me. Top is the corduroy hoodie from Express 
Express, but really it's just any black hoodie. I really dig my Breaking Birkay one that I got from the Breaking Bad store in Albuquerque. It represents my hometown and is perfectly oversized and comfortable. The pants are the 511 Tactical Cargo Pants. I talk about these a lot. This is the perfect pants that bridges the gap between streetwear and technical fits. You can rock it and treat it like your average straight cut cargos, cuffing the pants and all that, or you can lean into the tech vibes as these do offer a lot of functionality towards the elements and just movement in general. There's extra stitching to help you articulate your knee better, good for skating. If you're a shooter, these have extra pockets for magazines and general ammo storage. All arounder, I love these. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. For the kicks, I always go with any pair of cream vans that I'm skating. I've skated the Slip On Pros, the Chucka Pros, and currently the Skate High Pros. So far, the Skate Highs are good. I'm just not used to mid-cut sneakers, just like the last fit with the Blazers, but I don't have to wear an ankle brace with them as I sprained my ankle last summer, and so that's pretty nice. And my beanie color switches all the time. Most of the time, I'm with a mustard or maroon one, but I just got more beanies so they might make it in my rotation. They're mainly there just to keep the hair out of my face whenever I'm trying to land stuff but it's also a great pop of color to an otherwise muted outfit and i do have a tote bag from the van store that i got for five cents i usually just keep my tool some water and some extra wax in there but it's another nice way to add a tasteful element to your fit last but not least is a more casual fit that you would just see in any normal street fits as a lot of streetwear does take from skatewear think of supreme palace and all that those actually started off as skate brands believe it or not starting off with the kicks i have on the niger twos they're okay they're a tad bit too narrow for my feet so they kind of hurt after a long long skate sesh, but they skate pretty good. I recommend these kicks whether you skate or not as they just look really good. It has a runner shape to it, but also it's a clean, simple eggshell color that's gonna go with pretty much any of your fits. For the pants, I am rocking the Carhartt Dungarees. I think these are better than the Dickies 874 work pants as those. They do look really good, don't get me wrong, and they're also so affordable, 22 bucks and durable as hell, but they ride up a little bit too high and it's a bit uncomfortable. These Carhartt pants are light, roomy, and I really dig this dark color. For this fits, these pants are cuffed with black crew socks. I just like that look, but of course, feel free to let the pants drape over the sneakers. That's always a good look too. In my top, I'm just rocking this oversized cream shirt from Oray NYC. I just really dig the fit of this one and it's made pretty well. I would also just switch this out for any cream shirt that I have. I have this Little Bear coffee shirt that I got from a coffee shop back in my hometown. That's not really an oversized fit, it's more fitted, but it does pair well with the pants. And then as headwear of choice, I'm always wearing something headwear by the way, because I don't like the hair flying on my face. I'm just rolling with that same maroon beanie from the last fit. And those are my skate fits, it's nothing really special. With skatewear, it really is just about comfort, but also looking good as well. There are brands and such involved with this type of aesthetic, but if I go down that route, I'd rather rock a piece from my local skate shop, and so should you. You guys can follow me on Instagram at flowerjohnnytai, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my vlog channel, leave this video a thumbs up, deuces.